this video, we're going to talk about base excision repair. Base excision repair repairs deaminated DNA bases, and this can occur due to either spontaneous deamination or toxic deamination. So remember that an amine group down here, an NH2 group, is removed when you talk about deamination. So that turns adenine here into hypoxanthine or guanine over here into hypoxanthine. So big picture here is that base excision repair will repair damaged DNA. Now let's take a look up here at this base excision repair diagram. So what happens is that base specific glycosylases will remove the altered base and this creates a site that does not have a purine or a pyrimidine. And we call these sites apurinic or apyrimidinic sites. Let's remind ourselves by looking at this diagram over here that DNA is made up of a phosphate group, a sugar, and a nitrogenous base here. So the nitrogenous bases are split up into purines or pyrimidines. So essentially what happens is that the glycosylase is going to remove this part of the DNA, or one of these. But in DNA repair, you can't just stick on a nitrogenous base. You have to remove the backbone of the phosphate and the sugar as well. So now this is where you kind of have to remember what removes the 5' prime end and what removes the 3' prime end. The enzyme AP endonuclease will cleave the 5' prime end of DNA and then AP lyase will cleave the 3' prime end. Then you can see that there is an empty space here, essentially. So then you need DNA polymerase to make the DNA, and then you need DNA ligase to seal the gap. So how I like to remember this is it starts with glycosylase, and then AP endonuclease, and then AP lyase. So you can remember that as a mnemonic gel, G-E-L. So glycosylase comes first, removes the altered base, kind of gets rid of the um, purine or pyrimidine, then AP endonuclease cleaves a, cleaves a five prime end, and AP lyase cleaves a three prime end. So sometimes you'll be asked, for example, when it occurs during the cell cycle. So in comparison to nucleotide excision repair, which occurs only in G1, a mismatch repair, which occurs mostly in the S phase, this base excision repair can occur at any point in the cell cycle. One last thing to mention is that, as you can imagine, base excision repair is extremely important to preventing cancer. Now you might be wondering what happens if there's an issue with base excision repair. Well, there's an example right here. Um, there's a gene called MYTH. It's a base excision repair gene. And if it's defective in people, it can cause multiple colorectal adenomas, and this can increase the risk of colorectal cancer. So really quick recap, base excision repair repairs deaminated DNA bases, and then you first have glycosylase, which removes the base, AP endonuclease, which cleaves the DNA at the five prime end, AP lyase, which cleaves the three prime end, DNA polymerase fills the gap, and DNA ligase seals the gap. That pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please be sure to give a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.